I'm sorry I'm late to this, but as you can see from my profile, I don't post on here very often. However, I do want to chip in on the John's Bones story as I investigated the illegal bone trade in India, where John's Bones bones come from, including me going undercover uh, to the leading bone trader in Kolkata, which is also my family's home city. I'm a doctor in the UK. I learned anatomy at medical school here, and that was from bones that I confirmed were from West Bengal. I made a video about this whole thing last year on YouTube, so a lot of people have been tagging me in response to John's bones. And I don't want to make too many specific comments about him, although I think it's fair to say there are many things about the story that make me quite uncomfortable. Chiefly, I don't think you can claim that just because a purchase is legal in the US, that implies that the bones have been ethically sourced. So the vast majority of commercially available bones worldwide come from Kolkata in India. The trade in human tissue was banned in India in 1985 after thousands of child skeletons were discovered. This made the claim that bodies are simply found or donated rather dubious and children were instead being killed. However, the trade has persisted illegally since then. When I secretly recorded in the bone trader's office in Kolkata, I was assured that the bodies are donated or unclaimed. It was all legal. However, I was able to find data on unclaimed deaths in the city and the numbers simply don't add up. There are way more bodies being traded that then can be explained by legal donation or unclaimed bodies. Now, I'm not alleging murder, although that certainly happened in the past, but the reality is that the bones being traded now are almost certainly those of poor people who are either unable to afford funeral rites like cremation or burial, or people from poor marginalized communities whose bodies are removed from funeral pyres or graves immediately after their funeral. The shop that I visited was right next to the biggest public, uh, one of the biggest public hospitals and they have a long established understanding that the hospital will supply them with a steady stream of bodies and they also have agreements with undertakers. Medical professionals do need to learn from real specimens of course and I've got no problem with individuals having macabre interests but if you're thinking about buying bones Remember, they belonged to a real person with friends, a family, occupation. Ask yourself what your motives are. Is it just to make money and have a cool spine collection and make funny TikToks? Because then the law probably shouldn't be on your side.